The launch of Xiaomi's brand new phone, the Mi Note 10 or the CC9, depending on where you live, is imminent. Xiaomi have been drip feeding us information about the phone over the last few days. We know about the camera already, a Penta camera system. We know about the battery already, it's big. And we know about the design already. A first for Xiaomi, a curved OLED display. One big question that we still didn't know the answer to was, what chipset exactly are Xiaomi using in the Mi Note 10? Some people were speculating or wishing that it was possibly the Snapdragon 855 or even the Snapdragon 855 Plus. But that was unlikely considering the Mi Note 10 will be a mid or upper mid-range phone in the Xiaomi lineup. Then we had some rumors about the possibility of Xiaomi using the Snapdragon 730 or the 730G chipset. Last week we had some initial leaks of a chipset benchmark result from what was assumed to be the Mi Note 10 or the Xiaomi CC9 as it's known in China. And those leaks turned out to be correct. Today we got information directly from Xiaomi that they will be using the Snapdragon 730G chipset. Much like the Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is an upgraded version of the Snapdragon 855, the 730G is an upgraded version of the Snapdragon 730. The 730G chipset is manufactured using an eight nanometer process. And according to Xiaomi today, the 730G features a 35% improvement in the CPU and a 25% improvement in the GPU. It's also more than capable of handling the brand new camera system that's going into the Mi Note 10. The 730G can support a single camera unit up to 192 megapixels, which means it will have no problem handling the 108 megapixel images that the CC9's main camera unit is capable of taking. The chip can also support 4K video capture, so I expect that to be a feature in the Mi Note 10 too. So now we know that the Mi Note 10 or the CC9 Pro is an upper mid-range phone from Xiaomi. It will use a lot of new hardware, including a Penta camera system, a brand new 108 megapixel camera sensor, a five times optical zoom lens for the first time for Xiaomi, and it will take advantage of Mi UI 11 to give the curved screen what Xiaomi call breathing alerts. Of course, there's still a few things we don't know about the Mi Note 10 or the CC9 Pro, and the main one being the price. Along with the CC9 Pro on the 5th of November, Xiaomi will also release their new smartwatch. We have some more details from Xiaomi on this, including some new design features and information that you can purchase a variety of different watch straps as well. This is going to be a much more feature-rich smartwatch, not just a smart band. And in fact, Xiaomi have a lot of experience making smartwatches because they have a big stake in Huami, which manufacture Amazfit smartwatches. Xiaomi will also be using something called MIUI for watch, which will continue a lot of the design aspects of the brand new MIUI 11 and take it over to the wearable device. If you wanna know more about the Mi Watch, I have a separate video on that detailing some of the features, so you can go and watch that if you like. Subscribe for the latest tech news and everything to do with Xiaomi. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.